Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a, another character makeup look. Today I'm doing a kind of peacock princess queen uh, that I came up with and if you guys enjoy make sure you subscribe and today is the 22nd day of Halloween so make sure you go back and check my 20 or is it the 23rd? I don't know what day it is anymore but go check out my other videos and uh, let's get started. Okay so step one for this look we're gonna fill in our eyebrows and I'm going to start with Hydroplane from ColourPop. This is a limited edition color, but I think they have other colors very similar to it. Um, but really any sort of shimmery teal is gonna match the look. So I'm gonna start with this on the first half of the eyebrow. And if you hear thunder and lightning, that is not something I've added for ambiance. It is storming right now outside. Now we're going to go into the color 8 track, which is kind of like the olive color that is in a peacock feather. And just continue filling in the brow the rest of the way with this. And because it's a color pop shadow, you can kind of manipulate it really easily if you screw it up. I've done my foundation and my under eye concealer, but I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to do the rest of my concealer because I'm going to kind of make a beak shape with my nose. So we're going to kind of make a T with concealer on our nose so that it looks really pointy and highlighted and very, very kind of when I turn to the side, you definitely see it. So don't put it out all the way because we're going to contour it with some different colors here. But just start with that. And then, yeah, that really looks like a beak. And then I'm just taking what's left and using that as primer on my eyes. So now I'm moving on to the eyes. I'm going to take the hydroplane color that I used first. And we're going to basically kind of create like the peacock eye that is on like the eye on the feathers. So I'm going to start with the teal. And... I'm going to kind of try and make it a round shape. I'm going to take that from my nose, like the bridge of the nose. So really kind of drawing that in and then bringing it out. And you know what? Let's just go for the full thing. I'm going to go right underneath my eye as well. So it gives it a nice rounded look. So I'm not really packing on shadow. I'm more so just kind of dragging it to where I want it. And you can do that with color pop shadows because they're more creamy. You can do this with paint and stuff too, but I just thought I had the perfect colors for this. So why not? Now I'm gonna go in with a kind of dark, almost, I don't know what you would call it, emerald green probably. And this is the color Empire from ColourPop. And we're gonna use this as the transition into the olive color. So same thing, just pack it on to the next section of your eyelid, going top to bottom, lower lash line to brow bone. Then we're gonna take the olive green color and pack this on. I'm gonna start dragging it out. That starts to create the kind of effect that the wing has where it's really big and then goes really small. Taking the color Midnight from ColourPop, I'm going to take a little liner brush and we're going to add the little feathers that come off the side here. So it's a little bit of a darker color so they will pop out. I'm going to throw on a little bit of liner and mascara, and then I'm going to put on my blue eyelashes. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So now we're going to do contour. I'm taking a mix of this blue shade called uh, Electro Shock from NYX. And I'm going to start this back by the hairline, so our darkest shade. I'm going to take this down my nose as well. Keep with our kind of beak look and then with the same brush i'm going into the color the, the next morning i think it's called from nyx it's kind of a tiffany blue 
and finish contouring with that. Doing looks like these where you can just kind of shade in the color and make it look a little bit more like a character than an actual, you know, like I'm not turning into a peacock. This is kind of like my Phoenix look that I did a couple of years ago where I just kind of shaded everything in and made it look like a human Phoenix kind of look. For lips, I'm going to use two colors. Again, sticking with the blue and teal kind of theme, I'm going in with jellies from ColourPop. Then I'm going to take the color Dr. M, which is this really teal color, and put this in the middle. This isn't quite bright enough, so I think I'm going to take uh, Hydroplane and put up a little bit of this in the middle. So now let's go on to the neck. We are just going to create feathers the whole way down. So basically sticking with the same colors that we used before, I'm going to take Hydroplane and make the teal middles first so I can kind of space everything out. Now I'm going to go in with Empire and these ones I want to make look more like the actual peacock feathers. So we're going to go in and put a little dark green. And then we're going to take the 8-track color and create the rest of the feathers. So I'm just going to go around the eye and do the little kind of flicks to create the feathered texture. I have eight track filled in I'm going to go into midnight again and just add some darker little flecks kind of around here and on the tips and throughout and give the stems a little bit of shading so they look more like the feathers this is the finished peacock look hopefully you guys like it and want to try it out and if you do show me your costumes because i couldn't really figure out a costume for this one so if you guys like it make sure you let me know down below and uh, i will see you tomorrow for the 24th day of halloween bye